Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Are you good? Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to this class. Thank you for joining us. It's nice to have you. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. How are you? Are you ready? I'm ready? Are you ready? Yes, that's good, right? Thank you. It's raining, as you may know. Yeah? yeah. Here in San Salvador, it's raining here. we have a heavy rain. I don't know where you live, but here it's raining, which is good somehow, but not for everybody. Yeah? Yeah, not for everyone. Not for everyone, it's, it's, it's like, Okay, let me get the material so we can start working with class number 10. Oh, I think it's number 11, right? Yes, class number 11 today. That is the one we're going to have. Okay, so thank you so much for being here. Welcome. And let me show you the material right away. Here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Somebody wrote in the chat. Okay, Gabriela Noemi, nice to have you. No problem. Thanks for letting me know. The best, I'm sorry, the biggest and the best. Questions with how. That is the class for today. This is pre-intermediate English module number three. And this is our class number 11. Remember that this week we're working with section number four. Section number four is the one we're working this week okay so thank you so much for being here this is going to be today's content okay thank you thank you somebody write in the chat let me check oh that's very nice Thank you, Gabriela. Uh, we have Ursula, we have Sandra, Alejandra. Hello, Alejandra Maria Mejia. Thank you, Maria Delmi, welcome. It's nice to have you. One more time. Okay, let's begin. We're gonna have this information about a surprising facts. A surprise, surprising facts, okay? So we're gonna work with this one. Yes. Please, um, Maria Delmi, read the information, please. Mm -hmm. Snapchat, surprising facts. The house this place, is, place in the world is Death Valley, California. The temperature there uh, has reaches Mm, 134 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, 56, uh, that seven um, degrees centimeter. Antarctica is the largest desert on Earth. It is five, that four million square miles. Uh, 40 million square kilometer. It's also the coldest, windest continent. And see, yes, is the world's most watched TV show. Over 55 million people across the world have watched it. Uh, the largest cat in the world is the Siberian tiger. That's it's. Seven, seven, uh, at seven uh, hundred pounds, three hundred twenty kilos, bigger than a, than a lion. France is the most popular country to visit. It gets over eighty million, eighteen, eighty million visitors a year. The highest price for a car at, 
at an auction was an over $38 million for a 1962 Ferrari. The auction happened in 2014. The best selling music album of a time is Michael Jackson Thriller. Uh, the 1982 album has sold around 60, 65 million. The plan is in our solar system with the most moon, 67 total is Jupiter. The largest one, Ganymede, is the nine largest objects in the solar system. Yeah. Really interesting information, right? Yeah. Uh, that's that's very that's quite interesting. Question number one. Alejandra Elizabeth Duran Ramos. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Alejandra Elizabeth Duran. No. Let's work with Cindy Carolina Cruz de Lopez. Cindy Carolina Cruz de Lopez. Hello. How are you? I'm good. What about you? How are you? Oh, everything is awesome. It's raining and I love the rain. Thank you so much for being here. Good evening. Hello, Kenya. Welcome. So question number one is for you. Which facts do you find surprising? Why? Uh, I... I consider interesting the second fact. For Why example, uh, about Antarctica. It's the largest desert on earth. Because I think I thought that Antarctica is isn't a desert. But but here says that is a desert. So it's very interesting. Yeah, we have the two sides, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a desert and also it is also the coldest. Oh, very yes. good. Yeah. That's yes. quite interesting. Thank you so much. Because because I thought that a, a desert is hot, hot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so no way, right? No way in a uh -huh. continent that is very cold. Yes. That yes. is true. Mm -hmm. Is thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Estela Lara. Hello, Estela. Good evening. Hi, hi, Estela. Hi. How are you? Uh, good. Thank you. Can you participate? I don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Puede participar? Just the chair, but I don't understand this text. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. Do you know what is the meaning of a surprising facts? Guess on facts. What is the meaning of this one? Son como datos, creo yo. Exactly, como... right. Datos, curiosidades, información Ajá. sorprendente, que usted se queda así como que, oh, wow. Yes, right. So that's the meaning of facts. So here we have eight of, uh, of these ones. Yes. And I need you to read them all by yourself. Yes. So then you can figure it out. What am I talking about? Yes. Yes. So, lea los despacio, right? You still are dando su cuenta. Oh, mire este, right? Oh, look at this one. Yes. Very good. The Siberian um, tiger is interesting, too. Yeah, that's true, right? It's number four. Yeah, it's at seven, 700 pounds. Jesus. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. That's heavy. It says it is bigger than a lion. You see, a lion is yeah. is is a big the male yeah. lion. The male lion is a big animal. I mean, uh, yeah. 
and 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 then we have this this uh cats well that's pretty much true very good okay what are kenya then we have kenya these questions what are some facts about our country about el salvador what is one thing that you can say que la gente se va a quedar así como que wow el salvador mm -hmm. que es esa information that you can say that is relevant here in El Salvador? Only in this country have a street uh, called the Sexta Decima. Oh, yes. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yes. Only here is in El Salvador, right? When my family comes, it's uh, so when they ask me, they say, what is the sex that is? <laughs> They're only lost. Here, they only get lost. Here, only here the sex that is. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That is, they say, what is that thing? Okay. We don't even have it in the map, right? <laughs> It's crazy. That's true. It's crazy. The streets here, like, <laughs> absolutely crazy. Kenya, give me, give me another fact that is very, let's say, important for you that we gotta know about El Salvador. Mm -hmm. For the park. Okay. Mm. Okay, let me help you with one. Here in El Salvador, here in El Salvador. <laughs> we, <laughs> we only eat donuts from Mr. Donuts only in September. <laughs> September. <laughs> exactly. Solo comemos donuts in September, right? And then. And then the <laughs> We don't buy donuts because we don't care about it. We don't care about us. The only thing we do is like in September, we buy donuts because we can get two That's for a price of one. <laughs> That's reality. Okay. okay. No, but it's somehow curious. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Ne never mind. Never mind. Okay. Kenya. The next question, Kenya. Yes. What's what's the tallest building here in El Salvador? Let's say, what's the tallest building? The tallest, the tallest, right? Alto, para arriba. What's the tallest building? What? Uh, tallest building? ¿Qué quiere decir? Oh, building, building. Hay palabras que no las identifico aún. Okay, ¿qué? Edificio, edificio. edificio. Uh -huh. El tallest building in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. What is the edificio más grande I here? Mean, <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Just tell tell me tell me one so maybe we can uh we can help you with that. Okay. And somebody else? Somebody else? Help her. Here. Uh -huh. Here in El Salvador, the tallest building is Torre Millennium. Oh, Torre Millennium, right? Millennium Tower. Millennium Tower. Very good. Yes. Uh, how many airports do we have here in El Salvador? Two airports. Oh, we have two, right? What are yes. what are their names? What are their names? Mm. Ilopango Airport. Ilopango Airport. And the other one is? Monsignor Romero. Monsignor Romero. And the last question. The most popular city to visit here in El Salvador. What is that popular city? San Salvador. San Salvador. Um, I disagree. Maybe Suchitoto. Yes, maybe. Right. Maybe. Ataco. Ataco is another one. Exactly. Uh huh. That is right. Excuse me. Tell me. 
Santa Ana. Oh, Santa Ana is another one. Yeah. Playa yeah. el Tunco. Playa el Tunco, yes, right. It's like in La Libertad. But these days are in the vacation or. <laughs> 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 why why are you so why are you like that okay unforgettable <laughs> <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> four hours <laughs> ahí, right Para pasar los four hours <laughs> i'm kidding with you <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> that was very oh I my gosh it. that was I evil that was <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and also because it's raining, okay, it's dangerous. But, right? but there is some hope that this came. Oh, yes. With the new, I don't know how we, um, puente? I don't know. Who, oh, how bridge? We, bridge, 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 bridge. Yeah, but I don't think that's coming soon. I don't think that's coming soon. Uh, I, what I think is right now it's raining, so over there is closed. That's for sure. Like yeah. the street is, is closed for sure. Yeah, because when it rains. They live in lower this. Um, uh -huh. so yes, I... I'm. I'm sorry for you, Esmeralda. Yeah, I'm sorry yes. for you, because if you work here in San Salvador or in Santa Tecla, it's oh, so I'm sorry. much traffic. Yeah, it's, so it's much. heavy. It's heavy. So uh, I hope yeah. they can fix that as soon as possible. For, uh, okay. Yes. Thank you so much. So. We're going to have this information here. Please, um, Kenya, Kenya, please describe the picture. Tell me, what do you see here in this picture? Yeah. Hello. Oh, Can, are you the Ayúdeme a describir la picture, ¿ok? Uh, es como en el polo norte. Oh, ok. Yes, very good. Ajá, en los, en los polos. Ah, es en la área helada. What is this thing here? Se ve la aurora boreal. <laughs> ok, what is this thing? House. Ok. A nieve. Oh, how do you say nieve in English? Snow. 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 Remember, it's snow white. Yes, Blanca Nieves, acuérdese, Snow White. Blanca Nieves, okay. Very good. Is this in the in the morning or is this at night, Kenya? In la madrugada. Oh, okay, in the morning, yeah, yeah, very good. What is the time? What is the time for this one? What is la hora for this? Mm -hmm. Four or five. Yeah, four or morning. five. Very good, okay. Mire, Tania, aquí tenemos este... Kenia, perdón. Kenia, tenemos este título. That's freezing. ¿Entiende el título here? That's freezing. Mm -hmm. That's freezing. Exactly. Very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much, Kenia. Great job. So, I'm going to play the audio. People, listen and read. Page 95. Exercise 9. Conversation. That's freezing. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Lily. You are from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto in January. Actually, I'm from the U.S., but I went to school in Toronto. Winter there can be pretty cold. How cold is it on average? Um, I think the average in January is around 20 degrees or maybe 25 degrees. 25 degrees? But that's warm. 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about minus three or four Celsius. Minus three or four? That's freezing. Oh, come on. That's not so cold. At least not where I'm from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in Fairbanks, Alaska, around 3,000 miles from Toronto. That's, uh, let me check on my phone. Yes, that's about 4,800 kilometers. Wow. So is it colder than Toronto? It's much colder than Toronto. 
It's the coldest city in the United States. Okay. Thank you. Angel is a hello. Good evening. Tell me, what is this conversation about? Uh, and uh, describe this conversation, sure. Uh, yes, what is this thing about? The que se trata? What is this thing about? Uh, um, for me, uh, in my opinion, I see uh, the forest. I can I can say the sky very beautiful. I also see cabins and it's also loving and very frozen. Exactly. It's freezing, right? It's freezing. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. What are the cities that we are talking about here in this conversation, Esmeralda? Esmeralda, Figaro, what are the cities we are talking about here in, in this uh, conversation? Um, Alaska and Toronto. In Toronto, right? Alaska and Tor Toronto. Toronto. Very good. Thank you so much. That's good. Okay. Let me see how many students do we have. Okay, I will play the audio one more time so you can listen and read. And then we're going to practice this one together. Page 95, exercise 9, conversation. That's freezing. Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Lily. You are from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto in January. Actually, I'm from the U.S., but I went to school in Toronto. Winter there can be pretty cold. How cold is it on average? Um, I think the average in January is around 20 degrees or maybe 25 degrees. 25 degrees? But that's warm. 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about minus 3 or 4 Celsius. Minus three or four? That's freezing. Oh, come on. That's not so cold. At least not where I'm from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in Fairbanks, Alaska, around 3,000 miles from Toronto. That's, uh, let me check on my phone. Yes, that's about 4,800 kilometers. Wow. So is it colder than Toronto? It's much colder than Toronto. It's the coldest city in the United States. Okay. Any question about this conversation? Any question about this conversation? No? Everything good? No. Everything is awesome? Yay, that's true, right? What about the vocabulary that we have here? Do you understand the vocabulary? Any question about, no? Okay. We're gonna have participation. We're gonna not open the breaker room because it's raining. So some of you like don't have the chance to use your mic. So I'm gonna request um, Esmeralda Figueroa and Maria Delmi Hernandez. Maria Delmi, you are Alberto. And Esmeralda Figueroa, you are Lily. And then you change roles. Ready? Okay. Please begin. Hi, Lily. You are from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto to Toronto in, in January. Actually, I'm from the USA, but I went to school in Toronto. One year year can be pretty cold. How cold is it on average? Um, I think the average in January is around 20 or 20 grades or maybe 25 grades degrees. 20, 25 degrees? But that's warm. 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about minus three or four Celsius. Minus three or four? That's freezing. Oh, come on. That's not so cold. At least not where I am from. Really? 
Where are you from? Well, I live in Fairbanks, Alaska, around three miles from Toronto. That's, um, let me check on the phone. Yes, that's about 4,008 kilometers. Wow. So it's colder than Toronto? It's much colder than Toronto. It's the coldest series in the United States. Hi, Lily. You're from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto in January. Oh, actually, I'm from the U.S., but I went to school in Toronto in winter. That can be pretty cold. How cold is on average? Well, um, I think the average in January is around 20 degrees or maybe 25 degrees. 25 degrees, but that's one. 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That, that's about minus three or four Celsius. Minus three so far, that's freezing. Oh, oh, come on, that's not so cold, at least not where I'm from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I'm living in Fairbanks, Alaska, around 3,000 miles from Toronto. That's let me check on my phone. That yes, that's about uh, four thousand eight hundred kilometers. Wow! So it's colder than Toronto. It's much colder than Toronto. It's the coldest city in the United States. Thank you so much, the two of you. Okay, so we have minus, minus, minus. Okay, also. Uh, 20 degrees, very good. Thank you, Kenya, Roxana. You are Alberto, Isaac. Okay. Oh, let, let me change, let me change. Okay. Uh, Angel, you are Lily, okay? And then you change roles, yes? Okay, yes. Isaac? Hello, hello, Isaac? Isaac, hello? Hi, coach. Oh, okay. perfect. Yes, nice and clear. You are Lily, okay, Isaac? Okay. Hi, Lily. You are from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto in January. Actually, I am from the United States, but I went to high school in Toronto. Winter there can be very cold. How cold is it? On average, on average, mm, I think the average in January is around 20 grade, right? or maybe 25 degrees. 25 degrees, but that's warm. Uh, 25 degrees for a rain height, that's about minus three or four Celsius. Minus three or four, that's freezing. Oh, come on, that's not so cool. At the least, not where I'm from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in Fairfax, Alaska, around 2,000 miles from Toronto. That, let me check on my phone, just that's about <laughs> 4,800 kilometers. Wow, so is colder than Toronto? Mm, it's much colder than Toronto. It's the coldest city in the United States. Change. Uh, hi, Lily. You are from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto in January. Actually, I'm, I'm from the U.S., but I went to a school in Toronto. Winter, winter there can be very cold. 
How cool it is on average? Um, I think the average in January is around 20 or maybe 25. 25 degrees, but that's warm. 25 degrees Fahrenheit, that's about minus three or four Celsius. Minus three or four, that's freezing. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That's not so cool, at least not where I'm from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in Perspa, Alaska, around 3,000 miles from Toronto. That, let me check on my phone. Yes, that's about 4,800 kilometers. Wow, so it's colder than Toronto. It's much colder than Toronto. Is the coldest city in the United States. Thank you. Thank you. That was very good, Kenya. And also you, Isaac. Just a few things like minus, 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 and cold. And don't forget, Kenya, when we have this symbol, it's 20 degrees and 25 degrees. Okay? Perfect. Let me take the attendance really quick. When you hear your names, do me a favor and say present or I'm here. Okay. Yes. Let me get the uh, names. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Um, Alejandra Elizabeth Duran Ramos. Present. Thank you and good evening. Nice to have you. Alejandra Maria Mejia Avelar. Thank you so much and good evening. Andrea Fernanda Flores Hernandez. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez. No. Andrea. Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Here, teacher. Oh, thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Welcome. Okay. It's Perfect. raining here. In, oh, uh, yes, that's, that's, that's what I'm hearing. Thank you so much for letting me know. Angel, Isaac, Cibrian Bonilla, you're here, right? Thank I'm you. Here. Welcome. Good evening. Nice to have you. Blanca Estela Flores Ortez. Blanca Estela Flores Ortez. Let me check the chat really quick. Oh, Jesus, Estela, I'm sorry es to hear about Miralda. it. Oh, give me a minute. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. Edgardo de Jesus Maldonado, Maldonado. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Edgardo. Nice to have you one more time. Elba Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano. Present teacher, good evening. Thank you, and it's nice to have you. you. Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada. Present, Mr. Thank you, and good evening. Nice to have you. Jose Antonio Montes Fuentes. Jose Antonio Montes Fuentes. No, he isn't. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada, you are here, right? Yes. Gabriel, yes. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I, I forgot to write. Okay. Thank you. I got you. Um, Jose Antonio Montes Fuentes. No, he isn't. Catherine Joana Calzadilla Alas. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you and good evening. Nice to have you. Kenia Rosana Ayala de Velázquez. Present Thank you so much and welcome. Nice to have you. Thank you. Eh, Luis Miguel Mejia Alas. Hello, hello, Luis. No, he isn't. What about Maria Delmi Hernandez de Montoya? I'm here. Wonderful. It's nice to have you one more time. Sandra Lisette Elizondo Merino. Present teacher. 
Thank you and good evening. Nice to have you. Cindy Carolina Cruz de Lopez. Here. Wonderful. It's nice to have you. Ursula y Amilet Cornejo Martinez. Ursula. Yes, I'm here. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much for letting me know. In some places, it's raining pretty much cats and dogs. Heavy. Okay. Estela Lara. Ahorita Estela Lara. Just give me a minute. Ahorita. Okay. Estela Lara. Okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay. Let's get back to the conversation we're working on. I'm going to have like one more here. Oh, alguien más escribió en el chat. Alejandra Elizabeth Durán. Let me check. Okay, thank you. Ba -na -nam, ba -na -nam. Here we go. Uh, let me check. I will say your name, and if you can participate, let me know. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado. Hello. Okay, Edgardo, you are Alberto and Alejandra Elizabeth Duran. Okay. Puede participar, Alejandra? Can you participate? All right. Your mic doesn't work. I'm sorry. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Can you participate? No, ¿verdad? No, Blanca tenía problemas. Yes, teacher. Oh, can you participate? Yes. Partic oh, perfect. So Blanca and you, uh, gentlemen, what is Edgardo? Okay, Edgardo, you are Alberto, and your classmate is Lily. Uh, me, Lily. Yes, and then you change. Oh, okay. Let's begin, please. Okay. Hi, Lily. You are from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto in January. Actually, I'm from the USA, but the, I went to a school in Toronto. Winter there can be pretty cool. How cold is on average? Mm, I think the average in general is around 20 eh, centigrados, ¿cómo se dice? Degrees. Degrees, or maybe 25 degrees. 25, ah. 25 degrees, but that's one. 25 de eh, degrees Fahrenheit, that's about minus 3 of 4 Celsius. Minus three of four, that's crazy. Ah, oh, come on, that's not so cold. At least know where I'm from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in, in Fairbanks, Alaska, around three thousand million from Toronto. Does let me check on the my phone. Yes, that's about uh, four thousand eight uh, kilometers. Mm -hmm. Wow! So it's colder than Toronto. It's ma much colder than Toronto. It is it's the coldest. City in the United States. Can you please change roles? Hi, Lily. You are from Canada, right? I go to the Toronto in general. Actually, I'm from the US, but I went to school in Toronto. Winter, they can be pretty cold. How cold it is in the Avengers? I think the average in January around 20 
degree or maybe 25 degrees? Oh, uh, I am uh, at 25 degrees about dance. What? Well, uh. 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about minus 3 or 4 Celsius. Minus 3 or 4? That's pissing. Oh, come uh. on. That's not so cool. At least now where I'm from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in Fairbanks, Alaska, around 3,000 miles from Toronto. That's, let me check on my phone. Yes, that's about 408,000. 4,800 4, kilometers. Wow, so it's a colder than Toronto? It's much colder than Toronto. It's the coldest city in the United States. Thank you so much, the two of you. Isaac, very good. You got good pronunciation in this one, okay? Thank you so much. And also you, Blanca? Where is Blanca? Yeah. Very good. We need to practice a little bit, okay? So you can improve that pronunciation, but great job, okay? I'm Thank gonna play one more time so you can listen again pronunciation and read. Page 95, exercise nine, conversation. That's freezing. Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Lily. You are from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto in January. Actually, I'm from the US, but I went to school in Toronto. Winter there can be pretty cold. How cold is it on average? Um, I think the average in January is around 20 degrees or maybe 25 degrees. 25 degrees? But that's warm. 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about minus three or four Celsius. Minus three or four? That's freezing. Oh, come on. That's not so cold. At least not where I'm from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in Fairbanks, Alaska, around 3,000 miles from Toronto. That's, uh, let me check on my phone. Yes, that's about 4,800 kilometers. Wow. So is it colder than Toronto? It's much colder than Toronto. It's the coldest city in the United States. Thank you so much. Let's Page take a look of this. Listen, is Fairburg a small town? What else Lisa say about it? Let's listen. Y luego vamos a contestar estas two questions. Is Fairbank a small town? What does Lisa say about it? Page 95, exercise 9, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Is Fairbanks a small town? What else does Lily say about it? Tell me a little more about Fairbanks, Lily. Well, it's one of the biggest cities in Alaska. We have a large university the University of Alaska Fairbanks. And the people there love ice hockey. I can imagine. What other winter sports are there? Well, there's good skiing in Fairbanks. Lots of people go there to ski. Cool. I really like skiing. And in the summer, there's the famous Midnight Sun baseball game. In June, it's still sunny at midnight. Wow, sun at midnight? That sounds amazing. Yeah, it is. Also, you should definitely try to see the northern lights between August and April. I'd love to do that. That sounds so beautiful. So, that's Fairbanks. But don't forget the low temperatures. You know, Fairbanks sounds perfect. I think I should spend a month there. Well, maybe not in January. 
Okay. You got it? Or one more time? One more time, please. One more time, Perfect. Please. One more time. Page 95, exercise nine, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Is Fairbanks a small town? What else does Lily say about it? Tell me a little more about Fairbanks, Lily. Well, it's one of the biggest cities in Alaska. We have a large university, the University of Alaska Fairbanks. And the people there love ice hockey. I can imagine. What other winter sports are there? Well, there's good skiing in Fairbanks. Lots of people go there to ski. Cool. I really like skiing. And in the summer, there's the famous Midnight Sun baseball game. In June, it's still sunny at midnight. Wow. Sun at midnight? That sounds amazing. Yeah, it is. Also, you should definitely try to see the northern lights between August and April. I'd love to do that. That sounds so beautiful. So, that's Fairbanks. But don't forget the low temperatures. You know, Fairbanks sounds perfect. I think I should spend a month there. Well, maybe not in January. So question number one, is Fairbanks a small town? No, it's one no, of it's the, a big city. The it's one of the, oh, the, it's big, the big. biggest cities of Alaska. Exactly right. So it's big. It's big. And what else we can say about this place? What else, Lile? Say about There's, it. Um, uh, it has a large uni university. Very good. A large university. Yes, that's right. The sports ski. I think. Skiing, right. Ice skiing. Very good. Ice skiing. Very good. What also, else? Um, in June, uh -huh. midnight. Uh, it's sunny. It's sunny. It's sunny yeah. midnight. It's sunny. That's interesting, right? Yeah. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Let's take a look at the next Page video, 90. which is about the grammar content for today. Let's listen and watch. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus a verb plus complement, plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how, and right after it, we have far. Far is an adjective. How big, big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? 
How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Okay. Thank you so much. So that was a little explanation about this thing that is called um, how. Questions with how. Yes. And also, if you notice, we are using the adjectives. Okay. So that's what we're using. Okay. In here. If you notice, here we have the vocabulary. Yes. How. Then we have an adjective, an adjective, right? Call, hot, far, big, high, long, deep. So these are the adjectives. Y como estamos ocupando los adjectives, siempre después de un adjective vamos a llevar el verb to be, right? En este context. So is, 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 okay? So how cold is Toronto in winter? How hot is Fairbanks in summer. How far is Toronto from Fred Fairbanks? How big is Seoul? How high is Mount Everest? How long is the Mississippi River? Okay. And here we have the answers. Remember that we have Celsius, Celsius, kilometers, kilometers, uh, meters high. Okay. Uh, we can have kilometers long, uh, meters deep. Y aquí tenemos algunas conversiones, right? With Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, miles, miles, feet, miles, and also feet here. Use high to describe the mountain, mountains and waterfalls. How high is Mount Fuji? Angie Falls is 900 76 meters high. You tall to describe buildings. How tall is the Empire State Building? Entonces, estas dos palabras, high and tall, pues se ocupan high normalmente para mountains and waterfalls. It's all, it is related with describe buildings. Okay? Yeah? Any question about this? Let me play the audio so you can listen one more time and repeat pronunciation at home. Page 96, exercise 10, grammar focus. Questions with how. How cold is Toronto in the winter? It gets down to minus 25 degrees Celsius, minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit. How hot is Fairbanks in the summer? It gets up to about 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. How far is Toronto from Fairbanks? It's about 4,800 kilometers, 3,000 miles. How big is Seoul? It's 605 square kilometers. 233.6 square miles. How high is Mount Everest? It's 8,848 meters high, 29,028 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 3,700 kilometers long, 2,300 miles. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,828 meters deep, 6,000 feet. Okay, let's practice with the following exercise. Tenemos how big, how tall, how deep, how high, and how tall. Yes? What is the answer here? How, how deep is, excuse me? How cold, how cold, 
Okay, how mm. how big? How how big? How yes. Big? How big? How big? How big? Because of the answer. Look at the answer. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So the answer is, is something about uh, seven thousand seven hundred seventeen thousand nine hundred square kilometers. Okay, very good. What about number three? How high? Oh, how very high? good. Perfect. How? Give me a minute. How high? Oh, give me a, give me a break. How? Oh, Jesus. How high? Yes. How high? Okay. Thank you. How tall? How tall? Very good. How tall? Thank you so much. So we have how deep, how big, how high, how tall. Yes. So I need some participation, please. I need you to read the question and then read the answer. Let me have Maria tell me, please. Number one, read the question and read the answer. Um, how this lay by car? It's 1,642 meters, 5,387 5, feet uh, at its deepest point. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. With this one, we're going to have Ursula. Number two, Ursula, please. Thank you. Mm, Ursula, can you participate? No? No? Okay, don't worry. We're selecting another author. Remember that it's raining heavy. Okay, Catherine, Joanna Calzadilla. Can you participate, Catherine? Yes. Perfect. Number two, please. Go ahead. Okay. How big is Alaska? It's one million... Um, seven, seven hundred seventeen thousand 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 ninety hundred square kilometers. Yeah, and six. Hundred six hundred sixty three thousand and three hundred. Oh, God, no, it was a lot of numbers in English. Three hundred three thousand square three, miles. Three hundred. 300, 300 square miles. Very good. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay. <laughs> Edgardo, number three, Edgardo, please. How high is Denali? It's uh, 6,100 uh, meters. Uh, 20,000. 20, 310 feet high. Very good, right? Yes, meters, meters. And Alejandra. Hello, Alejandra Elizabeth Duran. Can you participate? No? Yes? Okay, what about Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano, number four? How tall is the Tokyo Skytree, Skytree, um, is six, no, six, 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 six hundred, very good, thirty four meters, mm -hmm. two hundred, two thousand eight feet tall. Very good, yes, right. So we have it is. 
634 meters, 2,080 feet tall. Okay, so if you notice these numbers are pretty much high numbers and we can read them like this one, little by little. For example, 1 million, 717,900 square kilometers. Then we have 663,300 square miles, okay? People, it's raining, okay? I'm sorry for you. It's, maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, right? It's good time. night. Take care. Be careful and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Take care. Thank you. Take care. See you tomorrow. Take care. Take care. Take care. Don't forget.